Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam. I'm coming back to you once again. And uh, this is an update on Matt Barnes and Anissa Sims uh, and the uh, dispute that she's having with her ex husband. The article is by Cameron Jones and it says Anissa Sims supports Matt Barnes at the spitting incident with her erratic ex, releases receipts alleging harassment. I'm exhausted. Anissa Sims has come to her fiancé Matt Barnes' defense after he spat on her ex-husband David Peterson Jr. She stated that the incident happened after the bitter baby daddy baited Barnes after uh, already harassing and threatening to kill them both on multiple occasions. As previously reported, Peterson was spotted uh, clashing with Barnes before the 49ers off uh, playoff game at Levy Stadium. The two had a heated exchange before the All the Smoke podcast host uh, hocked a loogie the man's way. Child. Immediately following the incident, Bonds filed a restraining order in LA uh, detailing the former NFL player was the aggressor and has continuously threatened him. Now, Anessa is backing Matt and took to Instagram to reveal the extent of the harassment. She included text messages and excerpts from a court document to support her claims. Uh, Anessa releases receipts of alleged David Peterson Jr. harassment. In the model's lengthy post, she alleges that Peterson escalated the unsavory behavior towards her and Matt after their engagement in December. She also alleges that Peterson threatened to abandon his kids and traumatize them in multiple ways, including telling them his plans to give up his 50-50 visitation rights. In a statement, it says, Matt Bonds deserves this negative backlash. My ex, he doesn't deserve this negative backlash, excuse me. My uh, ex-husband, David Peterson, has been harassing Matt and I for years. The harassment for, from David escalated at the our Christmas engagement. In the month of January alone, my ex has called the police to our home five times on false claims of us having a uh, scheduled visit. Each time I've shown the different officers our ta- uh, talking parent messages confirming that we are in fact did not have a visit scheduled. This has been extremely traumatizing for our children and neighbors. Aww. Anessa, age 44, also claims that Peterson has repeatedly made threats to shoot her with a Glock handgun and also threatened to run over her over to watch all the blood leak out of her body. Wow, that is uh, very specific. <laughs> very, very specific. That's. Mm-mm. She added that similar threats were extended to Matt as well. He also threatened to kill Matt with a with his Glock many times in the front of our children. Wrote Anessa. Thankfully, I was able to record him saying these threats on video, which in addition to his other disturbing behavior, uh, aided in the judges granting me with the restraining order on him. Anessa says that uh, her ex-husband is so unhinged that he is making claims against Matt's twin boys by making horrendous false uh, detrimental accusations to authorities against them and added that she's personally filed restraining orders including a three-year restraining order in 2017 due to domestic domestic violence and David threatening to kill me and himself multiple times. Wow. Regarding the viral 49s game incident, Anessa says he, uh, her ex admitted to being jealous of the lifestyle that Matt can provide and believes the incident was all part of Peterson's 
diabolical plan to destroy Barnes' podcast and ESPN career. She alleges that Peterson was baiting Matt into hitting him. It's public knowledge that Matt is a huge 49ers fan and David knew Matt would be at the game, wrote Anessa, giving David an opportunity to approach Matt. David started uh, the altercation, which resulted in Matt's response. Unfortunately, cameras only captured Matt's, um, Matt's reaction, not the whole incident. Due to David's history of consistent harassment, after the altercation at the 49ers game, Matt filed a restraining order against David, and the judge granted it. Matt was uh, reluctant to do this, but I am so grateful that he did what was needed to protect himself and our family. Mm-mm. Elsewhere in a lengthy note, she alleges that Peterson's fiance filed a sham restraining order on Matt claiming that he was harassing her despite Matt never meeting the woman in person. The woman later voluntarily dropped the restraining order, Anessa says. I said Anessa, excuse me. Uh, ultimately, Anessa says she is tired as dealing with harassment of this uh, magnitude has become beyond draining. At this point, I'm exhausted. David has gone above and beyond to hurt Matt and I, and it has unfortunately affected our children. It breaks my heart that Matt is being blamed for this altercation, wrote Anessa. My ex has been harassing Matt and his twin sons, two innocent kids who have done nothing wrong. Matt was defending himself at Levy Stadium in a situation that Matt purposely created to provoke Matt to hurt our family. I pray my ex gets the help he needs for the sake of our children and for the safety of Matt and I. God bless. And this is the post right here. You can go check it out on her Instagram. An alleged crazy ex is really not to be played with and judges should require individuals who have other orders of protection against them to complete counseling to reverse their uh, irrational thinking. Hopefully Peterson will move on and allow Matt and Anessa to live out their happily ever after. Best wishes to the both of them. And that is the end of the article right there. Apparently, um, there has definitely been some issues between that family unit. Um, but regardless of the case of, you know, the issues that he's having with Matt and Anessa, you should never involve children. That should never be. Uh, I've said this several times, that should not be a selling point or leverage um, to hurt someone. Um, you know, I'm not sure of all the details of why this is going on. Um, it's basically, you know, her stating her case of what's going on. Obviously, she had the proper evidence, otherwise they wouldn't have granted any of the strength restraining orders uh, against him. Um, at this point, what else can you really do? And, uh, yeah, it's a really crazy situation. I reported on this late last year about the incident. Another incident ha has went, you know, down where she, uh, I think she was requesting a restraining order then as well. But ultimately, I hope that, you know, you know, everybody's able to move on in their separate ways. And that they're able to co-parent for their children, which is the most important thing. However, if what she alleges is true, uh, she might have to take more uh, measures to ensure the safety of her and her kids. And Matt as well. So that is the end of this article. I definitely would like to know how you feel about this story. So please drop down and chop it up with me as we always do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly do appreciate it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until then, you guys, I will see you in the next one.